Hey everybody, it's Gloria and welcome to another episode of Friday Fun. Today's project, um, I, projects I made um, using this Kane Company Ancestry.com um, paper stack. Really pretty papers. Um, I'm, I'm getting there and using it up so um, I used most of the orange tones in today's um, project. So what I did was I have a collection of these um, tin cans and I decided to make um, one uh, actually a few and I'll show you um, this particular one um, is for my makeup brushes and I have a like a little makeup tray um, in my bathroom that has all my my um, products and then um, there's like different creams and stuff around it so I didn't do anything to the bottom um, so much as the top and I kind of left it simple because it's in your bathroom and you know so anyway um, <clears throat> excuse me so I adhered the paper um, around to the the tin can and then I have some um, crocheted lace in this like taupe color it's really pretty um, and it has some flowers at the bottom of the trim of the yeah of the um, yeah crocheted trim so I just dotted it with my stickles on the center of each of those flowers all the way around and then I stranded some pearls um, on here and then the two sides um, would be the front facing um, of the can I did I used some recollections flowers just like this one um, since it's in the back I didn't do anything with that one but I did put some here and here and then I added this wild orchid crafts flower and uh, I glitched that and then used these little um, the stems I curled them on a, a thin um, paintbrush and added those as you can see this one has also a, a little curly there and then this um, chipboard key um, I painted uh, first with my um, espresso paint dauber and then um, I glitzed it with um, CTMH's uh, bronze glitz. And then this um, ribbon here was made from the string that comes on the shipping tags. So I used that. And then there was a little bit of a lip um, exposed up here. So I um, glitzed the entire thing on that. And then I glitzed sporadically on, these, just on the design here on the paper, just dotted things really pretty. Um, like I said, this is really the front that you're going to see, or that I'm going to see, my husband will see, <laughs> in our bathroom. So this is for my makeup brushes. This is the color of our bathroom, so it'll be perfect. Um, okay, so there's that one. And then the second one I made is <clears throat> a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter than the other one. Uh, not by much. Um, but this one, um, I used the same paper from that same collection, and I loved the, the hint of this kind of a burnt reddish color um, on there so this time what I decided to do was um, make a border with the paper so I used a Fisker's border punch and then um, I adhered this uh, trim and this is perfectly I think I had like this much left over um, so I did that and what I did was um, on the other one you saw the seam in the back well on this one the front is the seam so that's what I covered up so it's seamless looking so up here is where the trim ended you can kind of tell there um, but again I used that same shipping tag string and then um, a bunch of these recollections flowers and then I used um, this little punch here to do these little flower paper flowers and that's kind of the burnt reddish color that's kind of matches this so I did that layered that and then I used um, some of my dew drops instead of bling or pearls. I um, kind of thought that was different. I hadn't done that in a while. And then um, again I did my um, circle punch and then my two inch, uh, my scallop circle and then my two inch circle punch and then um, embossed the sentiment here. And you've seen me, I think I've used this before for other things, but um, this is, comes from the Lib Inspired stamp set and that's where the sentiment um, comes from and let's see what else and then oh, I did this little butterfly um, with my favorite little butterfly punch um, and it's the only butterfly on there and then on that one I did add a pearl and that's just again to hide the seam so it 
it's just mostly cosmetic as it all is um, and then in the the design I just spread um, put some um, of these same flowers um, all the way around so and this has kind of some um, iridescent finish to it it's really kind of cute anyways <clears throat> so there's that one <clears throat> and then the last one <clears throat> excuse me oh um, is this one is um, a gift and um, so this one was the one that took me just a little bit longer because I wanted it to be a little bit more um, decorated I guess a little more altered um, so this one I used this greenish pattern paper it looks like wall reminds me of wallpaper it's so pretty um, <clears throat> and then I had this trim and I had seen um, some other gals um, on YouTube use it use different trim but um, use it upside down as opposed to the right way um, so I thought I would tr try that so I used it upside down and it's a double layer it's not I didn't layer it it's just the trim is already like that it's like organza and then it's got a satin trim on top um, but I have this um, doily that I inked with um, vintage photo and it's just a half that I had left over from another project and then I added this feather on the side and um, this dress form I'm so excited because this is the first time I've um, used a dress form <laughs> Oh, it's so silly, but um, anyway, this I had in my stash, and I got it in a rack last year, um, and it's just the gal that sent it to me um, just um, die cut a bunch of them on different pattern paper, and this one, um, I liked the pink on it, I thought it went well with the, with the greenish um, paper, and it's got a little bit of green in there, so um, I decided to use it, and I distressed, I inked the edges with um, Vintage Photo, and then um, I popped her up on some dimensions and then glued, hot glued those down because the, the adhesive wasn't going to stick because of the feather. So I did that and then I put some little Recollections pearls for her necklace. And then I had some trim and uh, made her a little skirt. And again, there's that shipping tag um, string and then a pearl um, on that one as well um, in the center. And then um, down here... Um, I have a Wild Orchid Crafts flower, and I think this is the, oh gosh, it's like a coffee, coffee color. I can't remember. I don't have them handy here. Um, so yeah, so there, I did that, and I glimmer misted this one with um, bronze glimmer mist, and you can kind of see the shimmer on that. And then again, I did these little, um, I think I've perfected this, <laughs> the little stems and um curling those on paintbrush and then these are some fabric flowers um, from recollections that I had my stash this is like an off-white probably can't tell very well a light a soft pink and then kind of a darker pink that kind of ties in with the pink on the dress form and then there are some pearls in there um, kind of hidden but there are some in there that was a lot of fun to do this this is so so much fun um, and then up here, <clears throat> that same trim that I used for her skirt, um, I put all the way around. And then once again, I used the um, shipping tag, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, string all the way around. And then I kind of wanted to offset it from where the dress form was, so I tied it in a knot up here, and you can see the little um, ends. And then I adhered this vintage um, button. And then added um, this little um, old typewriter key um, letter. And that's an R for Ruth, for my sister. Um, so I've decided to make this for her. And um, so she can have in her scrap room. And I know she likes this color with brown. So anyways, so yeah, so that's what I did. So this is my project for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for your sweet comments up until now. I have had just the greatest of support from you and um, your comments make me smile and make me feel good. And so keep them coming. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.